Hey everyone, Astro here. Today I'm gonna share with you guys everything I know related to the game settings and uh, how to make sure you get the best experience possible. That implies, of course, getting smooth and responsive image on your screen and overall having the best setup possible for a competitive game like CS. As title of the video states, I'm the guy who optimized uh, Monacy's PC for CS2. Likewise, I also help other well-known uh, pro players and organizations in the industry with computer-related stuff. Just so you know, we also do provide a computer optimization service for regular people so if you want a perfectly tuned system for your specific tasks you can just create a ticket on our discord or message me on twitter all the links of course will be in the description for a long time i worked exclusively with the russian speaking segment but uh, now we want everyone to experience what their computers are capable of when they do work properly before we start i have to say there's a lot of uh, misconceptions around the whole optimization topic in the community a lot of so-called media people like to make videos related to in-game settings basically saying copy my settings and you'll be fine with the little to no explanation as to why a particular option is the best so in this video i'm going to show you what settings are actually the best and give a proper explanation on to why it is the case first let's talk about resolutions most of you like to copy professional player settings and uh, play 4x3 stretched it's completely fine there's uh, nothing really wrong with it but there's a lot of uh, myths regarding 4x3 resolutions most of the pro players use them because the game simply feels better more smoother and responsive there is, of course, a technical explanation for that fact. You have to understand that lower resolutions have less total pixels for your GPU to render, so on average you'll have a lower GPU load. The logic here is very simple, so uh, the lower the load, the lower the latency you'll have. You might not necessarily see an improvement in FPS, but it is a very noticeable improvement in smoothness and uh, responsiveness to a naked eye. Also, enemy player models will be slightly wider, but because it's a stretched uh, resolution, they will be moving faster. So so there's not really much of an advantage here, but I had to point it out because a lot of people mention it, calling it advantage. So, you know, in the refresh rate tab, obviously choose your highest available number. So you will have the most up to date and smooth image. This one is pretty straightforward. Before we go to graphics settings, let's briefly touch on NVIDIA control panel. There's a lot of uh, things you can do here and there and uh, just as much as you can mess up. So please just follow my instructions and I'll give you all the explanations you need. Primarily, you have to do two things here. First of all, let's set uh, 3d settings they basically override some of the in-game settings and uh, allow you to control things on the driver level so you don't need to go through every single one of them the better and easier way is to set a preset in the tab above when you do that it will change every single setting in the 3d tab to the best uh, sort of possible uh, value emphasizing performance so you don't need to change anything manually with your hands so the only thing that's actually worth changing is power management mode I set it to prefer maximum performance so it will give you more stability and will not allow your GPU to go into so-called uh, power saving state whenever the load is more CPU oriented. Second thing you need to do here is to set a scaling option. If you play stretched, uh, select the full screen option here. If you play native resolution, leave it at aspect ratio. The most important thing here is to choose where the scaling will be performed. FYI, scaling is done whenever you have a lower resolution and you need to stretch it to the whole screen. So there's no definitive answer on to what option is actually the best because it heavily depends uh, on the configuration so you know there's no uh, universal answer there are though uh, displays with good scalers which can perform uh, stretching way faster than gpus therefore give you a noticeable advantage in terms of input lag sharper and smoother image so it is definitely worth uh, figuring out what option works the best for you i will list on your screen all the sort of monitors that by my experience have uh, the best scalers on the market so if yours is on the list and you should definitely try uh, display scaling otherwise using gpu scaling is almost always a safe bet so now it's time to go to the graphic settings of the game primarily you have to keep in mind the same gpu load principle i mentioned when uh, talking about resolutions so the lower the graphic settings the lower latency you will have because of the decreased uh, gpu load it seems very straightforward to, you know just lowers the settings and uh, you will have the lowest latency well uh, yes and no with the release of cs2 we also got reworked lighting physics which means there will be situations where with higher lighting settings you'll have an advantage by seeing enemy shadows in certain you know parts of the map so keeping all that information in mind you have to decide for yourself what's uh, more important for you my advice if you have a weaker system with a lower end uh, graphics card just use the lowest uh, settings preset if you have more powerful system with at least let's say uh, 2060 then you should definitely try a second preset with shadows you can see both of them on your screen right now so the key 
key takeaway here is that with higher graphics settings, weaker GPUs will not only have extra latency penalty but also lower FPS because even in the CPU heavy game like CS, a lot of the times you will still be GPU bound. Also, a lot of people like to use anti aliasing technology called MSA in game. It basically smooths out the edges of textures and models. This is a very GPU heavy setting because uh, the way it works is it creates a larger resolution than yours and uh, then shrinks it down to the one you use. So you should either avoid it completely or use the lowest uh, possible option which is X2. So a better alternative is to just use the higher resolution instead. If you use a 4x3 resolution just uh, opt for a higher resolution maintaining the same aspect ratio. So for example if you use uh, 1280 by uh, 960 and you want that extra clarity just go with uh, 1440 by 1080p. There are also two extra settings I wanted to talk about which is uh, first one fidelity fx resolution and nvidia reflex you should always disable fsr because you know valve uh, for some reason decided to give us a uh, very old implementation of this uh, technology so in its current state it just makes things worse making the quality worse and it doesn't actually give you any extra performance benefit so you should definitely skip it with nvidia reflex though it's not that simple because uh, from countless hours of testing and also lots of feedback from pro players i came to conclusion that it doesn't work very well uh, especially in cs2 first of all reflex works the best when you are gpu bound most of the time which just isn't the case for most of the cs2 players second of all the way reflex works is that it sort of uh, manipulates the render queue in such a way where it reduces the latency but it does so by nerfing your cpu so it has to wait before sending frames to your gpu and uh, thirdly by my own testing and things i heard from pros the game simply feels uh, unusual when you're using reflex uh, the spray control seems messy and more sort of difficult and unpredictable so i would strongly recommend to disable it lastly do not forget to use uh, maximum value for rate command as uh, some of you know in csgo the highest uh, possible number was 786,432. so you can go higher than this number and um, in cs2 via console uh, the highest you can do is 1 million so the higher rate uh, will increase the bandwidth limit uh, therefore your game will be more responsive online because of faster communication speed with the server so it's definitely a, a good benefit and um, when it comes to proper game settings that's pretty much it so in conclusion uh, there is no secret launch options or console commands that will increase your fps by 50 percent or give you a crazy latency improvement so you should definitely just focus on getting the basics right and not worry about the extra stuff